got a good one today. He is a free man. And he has beaten the Matrix. All those false accusations have been lifted. And he's now off house arrest. But before we get into any of that shit, what's good YouTube? It's your boy Big Rick back with a brand new video, back with a brand new reaction. Before we get started, go and smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new and leave a comment. What else want me to react to, man? Hit that subscribe button. It's free. It's right there. You literally looking at it. Okay? We almost to one point. We're almost to 1.4k. Okay? We're 50 subs away. 50 subs away. And with your support, we can get there. We got Andrew Tate today, man. He's a free man. Okay? I got word that he got released from house arrest. And he has a little message for us, so we can react to it. It says, Andrew Tate goes crazy after released. So, it's like it's five minutes. We're going to hop into this, man. Let's get it. Comment down below what y'all think. Hit that sub button. Let's go. I spent three months in a jail cell in a dungeon with cockroaches sharing my blanket with me. Three months. Then I finally got released. Seven months. I've been locked in my house. So, today a judge decided to let me go. I want everybody at home to understand exactly why that is. Up until now, all of the imprisonment. Before you can say any of that, that's a that's fucking crazy. To not to be an innocent man and go through that, I want my money. I want my pension. I know he's got enough money, y'all, but his net worth is three hundred million dollars. He's good, but I want my money. I want something. I want an M or something. I want my flowers or something. I want a birthday cake. I want a party. I want something done for me because ain't no way in hell I'm going to spend that much time in jail and that much time in my house. Fuck no. And the deprivation I didn't of my have liberty to. had nothing to do with evidence. It wasn't about evidence in a case file. It was the Romanian judicial system trying to decide if one, I am a public danger or two, I am a flight risk. And to be fair to them, I am not emotional. I am a professional, even when I am suffering. And I understand as an international man of huge financial resource, it's easy to deem me a flight risk. So my liberty was deprived. Only recently I was charged, this indictment appeared. I want everybody at home to also understand that three different federal agencies from three different countries have investigated my life for the last 15 months. Every photo I've ever taken, every video I've ever made, every conversation I've ever had, every phone call, 2,000 people who know me were contacted, Every single ex-girlfriend, my vet, my pool guy, my old house cleaner in an apartment I used to have. A I'm going to say something right now. If there was some type, but trust me, if there was some type of anything that this man did with today's society, bro, and how technology is and how the media is, it would have came up. It would have came up. They got R. Kelly ass like that. <laughs> they would have got him. They tried to get him. God, they literally put him in jail. They literally put him on house arrest. They were trying. If Andrew Tate gets assassinated or dies, bro, don't be surprised. <laughs> I will not be surprised. I won't. I'll be like, damn. I'll look at my I'll look at my watch like, damn. It's a little early. Thought he lasts a little longer. This man right here, boy, he's the truth. Seven years ago, you name them. If they had anything to do with me, no matter how tedious the link, they were contacted and they were interviewed. Hotlines were set up. Billboards were made. Has Andrew Tate ever hurt you? Do you have any information on Andrew Tate? The media was offering 50,000 pounds for anybody who would give a negative story to me. Find another. Wow. <laughs> wow. 50 pounds, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. They were really trying. Another man who has hundreds of ex-girlfriends and not a single one of them rolled on me. Not a single one of them for money would say I'm a bad person. In fact, they would all say the opposite and defend me and stick up for me. You wanna talk about a man of moral fiber? Find another man who can go through that. There's not another man on the street you can find whose ex-girlfriends who wouldn't turn on him. The media, all over the news, Andrew Tate's the worst man that's ever been. Andrew Tate's a human trafficker. Andrew Tate's a crime boss. He's a crime lord. Andrew Tate has all this money from illicit activities. 
Every penny I've ever made, all of my bank accounts seized. 15 million euros of assets were taken from me. They've been through every single bank transfer that I've ever sent. All of it, head to toe, to put this indictment together. So when this indictment is finally created, it should be an opera, right? It should be Shakespeare. It should show money transfers, victims, old victims from long ago, videos, pictures, medical records. This indictment should be absolutely bulletproof. The indictment was put together. I was held for six months without charge. That's the longest possible time I can be held without charge. The day before they finally submitted this indictment, it took as much time as they could. They took it down to the wire every minute they could to get this indictment together. And now the indictment's been put in front of a judge. And what has the judge done? The judge has picked up this indictment, looked at it, and said, this is garbage, let him go. They're bulletproof indictment. After all I just described, they finally put together a document that the judges instantly said, let him go, this man should not be held. Anybody who believed this garbage. Shout out to that judge. That judge was recognized and real. Like, bro, like, what the fuck are we doing, bro? If y'all don't leave this rich ass nigga alone, bro. <laughs> you know, he got shit to do. God knows what he had to do to get rich. Will y'all leave him alone, bro? God knows what he had to do to get 300 M's as his net worth. And we're trying to take it away? And put him on the face of probably one of the worst situations we have going on right now, which is trafficking. Whether it's drugs, kids, or women. And we slap his face on that? Are y'all retarded? Are y'all looking crazy? Y'all lost y'all fucking minds. <laughs> Jesus Christ, bro. Y'all gotta get a grip of yourselves. Anybody who was insulting me while I sat inside of a jail cell saying that maybe I am a human trafficker because of some stupid video from 10 years ago. Any of these people who once insulted me or refused to defend me because they were scared, and that is the same thing. Something I haven't realized, a whole bunch of people who are my friends now and on my team now and are now begging me to bring views to their shit podcasts didn't have very much to say while I was sitting in a fucking jail cell. Not very much at all. True. Don't think I don't know. Me and my team know exactly who was <clears throat> on my team and who wasn't. And I also know what I have done and what I have not done. And God knows the same. It doesn't matter if I get fucked at the end of this. It doesn't matter if I get completely destroyed. It doesn't matter if they put me in jail for life. I know what I have done and I know what I have not done. And I find absolute sol solace in that. Now I am free. Yes, I will remain free until the trial date when this garbage is finally thrown out and my name is absolutely not really clear. Anybody who believes any of this garbage is going to regret it because I tell you something, Tristan said something to me in that jail cell was completely true. He said, 13 years in the Chateau d'If and then the world is ours. If you have not read The Count of Monte Cristo, I strongly recommend that you do. In my final act of defiance against the Matrix, I've decided for my first day of freedom, I will visit the mosque and I will pray to God because Allah is the best of planners, and then I will return to my house and stay home. That's right. You locked me up for 10 months. Where are you going to go? What are you going to do? I'm a bit tired. I'm going to stay in my house. That's what I'm going to do. I only want to talk to God. Real nigga shit. He just dropped the bomb. Wish I had a mic. Boo, 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 boo. You see this mic? Oh, I can't move it. But there's a mic right here. Drop that motherfucker. Shout out to Andrew Tate. What are you going to do now that you're free? I'm going to stay in my house where y'all thought I was going to be. Where y'all wanted me to be. I'm going to stay in my house. And do exactly what y'all want me to. Exactly what you wanted. I'm going to go to church. Pray. I'll go back to the crib. Because I'm tired. Y'all done ruined my life enough. Now that y'all don't got shit to say, I don't either. I'm going. Go on. I heard that. <laughs> I heard that shit. God, I don't want to be by myself. I don't want to talk to any of these snakes, any of these people on the internet trying to get views out of me, any of these people who pretend they support me and give a shit. When I really, at the, when it gets down to the wire, it's me in a jail cell, me and my brother by ourselves. And all these other people don't seem to fucking give a fuck until there's views involved. Lies get tired. Lies get exhausted. 
It takes untold energy to continue to prop up a lie. It goes against the laws of physics. There's only so many times you can tell the world I'm a human trafficker with no evidence. Where's the girls? Where's the videos? Where's the victims? Where's the pictures? There's nothing. How many times can you continue to repeat the same garbage with no evidence? Nobody believes it. It's true. The moral arc of the universe bends towards truth. And I tell you something, when I am released from all of this, I'm going to use my massive platform and enormous financial capability to launch a charity to prevent this happening from any man ever again. This is enough and it's going to have to stop. I had enormous stop. financial capability. Real nigga. The reason why I say real niggas is because I don't know if y'all know, Andrew Tate is a black man. <laughs> Y'all know that? He's mixed race. Andrew Tate is a black man. This is a black man. No wonder they doing you like this. I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing. But, you know, I just find it fucked up that they did him like this. But, um, hope you enjoyed that video, man. Comment down below what y'all think. Shout out to Andrew Tate. He's officially free. Okay. And, um, yeah. What are y'all going to do to break the matrix? Comment down below. Other than that, it's B-Boy Big Rick. Big Rick, you going to the top. We out. Smash the subscribe button. Let's get it.